Hey guys, so my current project for the day is going to be shortening up our steering column for a 1948 uh, Chevy 3100, the P48 project that I'm working on. I need to get the column shortened up. I have to build a column support for the base of the column that will hold it in the firewall. And rather than doing a bunch of wiring today, I felt like uh, doing some fab work. So I'm going to make up uh, the column support, bolt it into the firewall, run the steering column through there, and then tack everything in place. Um, I'm going to leave a couple inches on the opposite side of the firewall. I'm not going to trim it to final size yet until we get the rack and pinion in there and the U-joints uh, to connect our steering shaft to the rack and pinion. So what I'm going to work on now is just passing it through the firewall, leaving a few inches extra on the firewall side um, of steering shaft and steering column and uh, then mounting up my turn signal switch and wiring that in so that I don't have to uh, mess with removing it and putting it back in a bunch of times. So, so I'm using a piece of 14 gauge uh, to mount into the firewall that will hold and support the base of the steering column. The upper end of the steering column gets supported on the bottom of the dash and uh, I'm going to get started on this. I'll set the camera up so you guys can watch me cut and grind and make lots of smoke on the drill press here as I try to bore a hole through this thing. So I took a piece of scrap paper and traced out a template from the firewall where the uh, where this flange needs to be located where the steering column passes through the firewall and uh, transferred it on, onto a piece of plate here. It's really hard to see for some reason. Uh, and then I have a three quarter inch flange so I marked all my center points for my bolts at three eighths and I'm going to drill those holes out first, hole saw the center hole for the column, and then I'll take it out and bend it and uh, mount it into the firewall. Once it's mounted in the firewall, then I'll slip the steering column through there, clean up the column where I need to weld it, and uh, tack it in a few places, see how I like the fit. I'll probably have the owner of the truck, um, next time he's over here, check that column height and see if he likes where the steering column's at. If so, then I'll do my final weld and burn it all in. Okay, so now that our uh, firewall plate is made up, loosely bolted in place, I've got to get the right hardware for it. That's just what I had on hand. Um, now that's in place, we can set the column length. And I marked the column. Last time I had it in here, I marked it where the uh, column came through the firewall, so I have a general idea. Uh, it was quite a bit too high, so I'm going to take a tape measurement double check that with the line that I've marked on the steering column, cut the column, uh, cut the steering shaft a couple inches longer than the column, um, so I have some slack in here but it's not banging around into everything and I can get the steering wheel closer to where it's going to be as you know, a final fitment. All the Chevy purists might want to look away now.
Well, sorry about that, all you Chevy guys. Uh, had to cut that metal dash. Hated to do it. Um, I know the factory gauges had holes for bulbs, but we don't have bulbs or bulb holders or any of that. And I believe that uh, I believe the factory gauges didn't have any accommodations for turn signal or uh, or high beam light. So I wanted to put an indicator on the dash. And I don't hate them, but uh, they might need to be blue, or I mean uh, black bezel. Maybe that would be better. They're not terrible, though. So here's our final look at how we're going to have the dash. I think the steering wheel position is okay. I don't think it's uh, perfect. I think it's okay. And I actually ended up with just the right amount of stick out on the column here. I left the steering shaft a little long. I'll probably trim it back here just enough for the universal joint to slip on. Uh, this column will still probably get trimmed up another three quarters maybe an inch. Well guys that wraps it up for me today. Uh, today you saw me do a little bit more work on the 48 here, our P48 project. Um, made that column base bracket uh, to hold the steering column. I'm gonna pick up a piece of two inch tube and uh, slit it and make it a clamp so that I can clamp the steering column in place. I think that's probably the better way to go. It's gonna look cleaner and uh, you know, then we will be able to adjust the steering column, although I don't know why we ever would after initial fitment. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, you also saw me uh, uh, bedazzle the dash here with some new LED indicators. Um, the old gauges don't have accommodations for the turn signals or for a uh, high beam indicator um, and, of course, a check engine light. So... Um, needed a they needed to be put in and uh, this is going to be a rat rod not a restoration so um, I went ahead and punched some new holes in the dash um, and mounted those up so those will get wired uh, probably tomorrow I'll do some more wiring and get get all that stuff wired up uh, I ordered some parts today so uh, when I get those parts in I can mount up the light switch I'm missing the the bezel that mounts it to the dash so uh, when I get that new light switch in, I can mount that up and um, and the wiper switch and uh, and get those things get those things tied up and and completed in there. Uh, so it's coming right along. Um, I will uh, try and get that two-inch tubing maybe tomorrow, so I can make that steering column clamp. Uh, the problem is if I if I go to my local steel yard, I've got to buy a six-foot piece of it. I think uh, they don't have a rem pile anymore so uh, they sell everything in six or ten foot increments. Um, last time I went in there to buy some two by three rectangular they wanted me to buy a 20 foot stick and I was like what the hell am I going to do with a 20 foot stick? I need five feet of it. So we'll see. Um, I might try a different metal yard. I've got another one that's actually closer to me but I've been going to the same place uh, patent steel in Ontario. I've been going there for 20 plus years so uh, I'd like to be able to buy my steel from them but if that's not uh, if they're not going to allow me to buy a one foot section of uh, two inch tubing then I, I guess I'll have to take my business elsewhere. So I'll uh, I'll get some more progress here done on the truck tomorrow and uh, get some more video up for you guys if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I'm trying to get a little bit better at making these uh, videos and editing them and getting them up in a timely manner. So um, if you have any suggestions or comments about the work I did today, if you just want to hate on me for punching holes in a 48 Chevy Dash that's 70 years old, I understand.